Hey, what's up guys? I'm reporting to you from a canola field. I'm just here for the day watching all the influences and it's a, it's a spectacular sight, let me tell you that. Anyway, welcome to this week's episode, episode six of uh, the Grow Diaries with Marijuana SA and Dusty Grows. And uh, we've got some cool things in store for you this week. Uh, we're in about week four of flower and um, things are looking really good. And also Fatima's also looking pretty good in flower as well uh, even with the the winter rains and all that anyway stay tuned and uh, here you can see an update on the plant it's about week f I would say probably week four but I think it's actually week five <laughs> actually I've, I don't keep track of my weeks um, she is looking pretty pretty decent and pretty symmetrical which is what I had in mind uh, I wanted a nice kind of like symmetrical Christmas tree plant kind of shape and uh, she's uh, growing according to that so that's pretty cool and uh, the cover crop's starting to starting to get uh, a bit aged but I'm quite impressed with the strain she's pretty pretty dense and um, it's quite early to see this frost day um, starting to appear so I'm really excited about that Collins also always there in the background there doing his magic. I had about three rounds of defoliation of this plant and um, you know, she keeps she keeps bouncing back and uh, she's got the most unbelievably thick stem. This is definitely the thickest stem I've had in my plant indoors anyway. Um, yeah, I haven't had any pests yet Pretty lucky last time I had a bit of spiromite infestation due to the cover crop but uh, so far so good very lucky um, the spider might sneak in right at the last minute and take over but so far so good <laughs> having to use another LED light as this grow light makes it quite difficult to, to uh, do the white balance to, for recording but uh, just show you what it looks like without it. <laughs> it's quite a warm spectrum. It's, I must say, this is an amazing light for, for flower. Um, can't complain. I've been running at about 70 watts during veg and 150 in flower. Um, here's Fatima, she's looking pretty good, pretty decent. Um, definitely, you can see that the buds are good, the buds are frosty, they're not too dense. They're not, not too tight, unfortunately, but I mean, that, I think that's to be expected during winter. The sun is not as potent, and um, she doesn't get as a, as much sun as she would have earlier on. But she's okay. She's getting nice and frosty, so that's can't complain. But she looks okay. She's got some overall nicely uh, symmetrical shape to her, and uh, this is I'm still still kind of new to these nutrients. And it's a one part mix, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Oh, so far <clears throat> this grows gone pretty well uh, haven't had too many issues apart from uh, moving the tent a few times because of uh, some sneaky nosy neighbors um, there was this one time one time last week where I was boiling up some bone meal just to try something new and then I watered the plant with this uh, boiled bone meal and then a few days later I saw <laughs> There's some uh, some white patches on my leaves. Eh? Yo, I got into such a panic, eh? But it was just uh, just a bone meal, so I thought it was powdery mildew. So it's got a bit of a fright. But apart from that, things have gone pretty smoothly, and um, yeah, happy with the nutrients I chose. And I'm still only using water. I might uh, use some molasses for the next watering, actually. But yeah, I'm very happy with this OG Kush. It's um, super strong genetics. Um, even Fatima, you know, she's growing outside in the Cape Town winter, it's cold and um, she's still growing pretty well. I don't think I'll get many dense buds from her, but um, she's still looking pretty frosty, which is quite nice. Anyway, so um, let's see how it goes. There's only a few more weeks left and um, yeah, I think it's going to be really good. Um, only thing I'm going to worry about now is just airflow because um, the, tent and the plant in the tent is just... It's so dense and it's just gonna 
turn into one big bad day. You know what I'm saying, Abra? Anyway, uh, catch you, uh, catch you next time, and uh, if you enjoy this episode. Cheers, guys.